Hey, good morning, everybody. You know, life is an adventure. It's just going to be your unique adventure or some version of somebody else's misadventures or whatnot. I mentioned in my last video, I had planned to be in a different state than Alabama, and indeed I am this morning. Back in Florida, guys. That's right. Generator completely crapped out on me. I have no fuel to the generator at all. You can prime it. Turns red as if it's primed. There's no clicking noise on the fuel pump back there. And then it just dry. It'll just try to turn over dry. And yeah, I've had this problem before. I got a full tank of gas up here. I took off the fuel line to the carburetor right here, put this down in a bucket and tried to prime it and start it. I got zero gas getting to the carburetor. So really that's good because that really narrows it down to two issues. One, the internal fuel pump here has gone out, or the line that goes back to the brand new fuel pump in the tank has now stopped allowing that to feed gas into the generator. And don't say that's not possible because this happened to me last summer. That in-tank gas tank sometimes can go out and, and not allow your generator to manually feed it from the auxiliary pump. Maybe this wouldn't be a big problem for a lot of other RVers because they're just going from campground to campground and plugging in, but I'm a boondocker. And you know, like the other night when I was at Walmart and just needed the air conditioner, by the way, it only lasted three hours and then shut off on me as if it was starved for fuel. And it hasn't started up since. It won't start up, there's no fuel. So if there was a way I could ignore that, and it was my plan to go up and do some like remote camping in the shade where I'm not gonna get a lot of solar, well, I need to run the generator for a few hours a day to replenish the batteries. In order to do the lifestyle I wanted to live, I have to have a working generator. So my options are, you know, go to Home Depot and buy a cheap inverter for like 400, 500 bucks just to get me by. Um, I had always said that if this thing crapped out again, I was gonna yank it out and just have a four stroke somewhere. but. I'm pretty confident that it's just the fuel pump. And guess what? My buddy Wayne likes to fix on things on my RV. No, he doesn't, but <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna book it back down to Panama City, guys, because Wayne's been really helpful. He's really knowledgeable and he knows what he's doing. He will diagnose it correctly and not just start sw swapping parts and stuff. So that's not even the only problem. I also had to call Wayne and tell him the new drum that we just put in four days ago. You already know completely warped brand new drum again and those of you who followed me for the summertime you know my ordeal with this this is the sixth time this has happened inferior products that only last a couple days so um, like Les Schwab did back in month in I don't even remember what state anymore it's all just a blur anyway they said that uh, they made it a company rule now that whenever they install new drums on, on rear dualies, brand new out the box. Anytime they do that now, they have to resurface it before they install it. So brand new, they even know that their own products are crap. Brand new out the box, they need to be resurfaced before they're installed. So it's like 10, 15 bucks to do that back in Panama City. Wayne will just have to take everything back apart and we'll give the brand new drum to O'Reilly's or somebody, have them resurface it, put it back in and we should be good. Yeah, because I mean, technically, in the summertime, I didn't really have any problems after that last problem got fixed on the brake system. But the generator, that, that is frustrating, honestly. I know my problems are minimal compared to what a lot of other people are doing, but this is my lifestyle and I'm only sharing my life. I'm not sharing their life. I'm not sharing their life. I'm just sharing my life and what I gotta do to keep the wheels moving, you know, and to keep camping. So, so that's the decision I've made. Just got into Florida at the Welcome Center here. I'm gonna shoot back down and I'll let you know what Wayne and I find. It's all good. Is that a good spot, Jax? Is that working for you? You weirdo? <laughs> I just wanna say something before I get to Panama City because it almost seems like, if you don't know me, I'm acting like the poster child for don't buy an RV, don't live in an RV, it's hell, it's gonna be terrible, there's more problems with an RV than there is a house. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that I don't do this for the money that I save. I don't do it for the simplicity of it. Uh, I really embrace this lifestyle because I have no choice. There's just something built inside me that yearns to explore the world and see new things. And 
basically live in an RV and enjoy this space back here. That's what I really, really love more than anything. And uh, I wouldn't be happy being settled down in anything. So obviously the problems that I have dealt with, especially with this RV in the last two years, it's hilarious and funny, but I mean, I, I don't have any other choice. This is my RV, so I'm gonna continue to do whatever I can to keep the wheels moving so that I can uh, enjoy the good times more than the bad times. This isn't a bad time, this is just a challenge. And we all deal with challenges like this where those challenges need to be evaluated and then you need to explore your options and then you need to physically act on those options and keep a positive attitude. And, you know, with your help, you, you know, you guys watching me grow on the road and on YouTube, I've gotten much, much better at dealing with obstacles. You can't say that. Even if, even if you don't agree with the way I react to some of the negativity, you have to say, I have been able to deal with negativity and challenges and obstacles on the road much better than when I first started. So, I don't mean to deter future RVers from not wanting to do it because of what happens, but at the same time, I share it exactly how it is, and I'm still positive and happy, but let's go see if we can get this stuff fixed. Well, I'm here in Panama City, and believe it or not, Wayne does have other things to do besides this RV. <laughs> That's right. Although you wouldn't know that because I've been keeping him so busy lately with poor Yoda. See that sign, parking permitted. Well, that's a good sign, literally. I'll head over there here in a little bit and we'll come up with a plan of attack here. So knowing where we weren't getting fuel to the carburetor, uh, Wayne put manually put gas into the carburetor, and we finally I've finally seen this thing start up. So that's promising. Uh, also, the cl uh, no click on the prime. Usually, if there's air in the line and you click to prime this, it's going to click until it's fully primed. Since we don't hear that, uh, Wayne's come to the conclusion that we, uh, we do need to diagnose the fuel pump here. Uh, but more importantly, we need to make sure that fuel is coming from the main gas tank to here, which he's going to diagnose, as well as make sure that power is physically getting to the fuel pump that's on the generator. Uh, so, we we'll check those two things first. So Wayne says we got gas up there to the generator uh, from the main gas tank. So that's, that's a good sign. Times like these, I wish Jax had a buddy to play with and fight with. <laughs> whack, whack. Kick, kick, whack. Get him while he's down. Get him. Show no mercy. Bite that tail. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that was a takedown. Um, that's your tail, dude. Wow. Who needs TV when you got cats? While uh, Wayne is working on the generator stuff there, he got a package for me here at his house in Panama City, and I got this letter with some sticky things from uh, Michael and Jerry in South Carolina. And uh, I knew when these were in the package that it's going to be something very unique. And thank you for the letter, guys. I really appreciate it. I know uh, a lot of people care about the videos, even the, ne the negativity. Not neg I don't even like to use that word, but the trials and uh, things that go wrong that I have to fix. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around. And that's what Michael and Jerry made this custom Seattle Seahawks wood carving hand painted uh, with stuff to mount it on. You know this is going up in my RV. Go Seahawks! Hey, thank you so much guys. I really appreciate it. This is a 
this is a great boost in my uh, faith in humanity and everything, but thanks guys. So I got my Coke bottle opener. I got Jax's old Mickey ID tag, my never read the comments, my happy trails thing, and then right below it, there's where I put that custom Seahawks piece of art. Thanks guys. So an update here on parts. Uh, Onan and Amazon both supply the fuel pump that we need for the generator. But actually what Wayne found out is that the company that makes it, the Airtex, has a model number and he did some calling around town here in Panama City and AutoZone in Panama City can get it tomorrow, well, 24 hours later. So I feel like that's a pretty good uh, estimate on that part. Uh, we might have to get like a universal fuel pump or something. Uh, filter, what did I say, pump again? Yeah. Fuel filter, so it's a threaded fuel filter that goes into the back of the fuel pump in there. And that's the other thing is, so to get to that stuff, the fuel pump is way back there, so we gotta get rid of this solenoid and this plate here and find the wiring back there. It's all back there where, maybe if I zoom in you can see it. Yeah, there's the fuel pump for the generator that has to come out. So that is going to be the plan. We are gonna get back at this tomorrow. Uh, today, Wayne's going to tear into it and locate the fuel pump itself, get all the wiring and everything set up. O'Reilly's in Panama City does the turning, the resurfacing of the rotor. So tomorrow morning, we'll start uh, taking, getting the, ro the drum off and turn that in. And hopefully, hopefully we'll have all this button back together in less than 48 hours. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Also just want to mention, it's still my goal to get up to Georgia. I've uh, been talking with Kevin and Felix over there at uh, home base, base camp up, up there, and uh, my two new driver's license, I only need one, but my two new driver's license are up there safe with Felix there, and uh, a couple other packages. I got some fan mail and stuff. I've been meaning to get to it to do some uh, unboxing and stuff, but obviously I got delayed, guys, so uh, we'll see what goes on. I'll try to get back with you guys as soon as possible, maybe even tomorrow. Bye-bye.